Hi guys, it's Serena Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 146 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try to surprise yourself. Okay, assuming you already, you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. Um, so they give you all these data and they're trying to see how many of the 100 TV viewers did not watch any of the four channels. From what it looks like from this one, it looks like CNBC, I mean CBS, NBC, and ABC are a triple Venn diagram. So this is CBS, NBC, and ABC. And it looks like HGTV is just a outside. So there's 18 that watched HGTV, but they didn't watch CBS, NBC, or ABC. All right, so we got rid of that one. As I don't know if you remember from my other videos, but I like to work these kind of problems from bottom up. So this one's done. They say four watch CNBC, NBC, and ABC. So four goes in the middle. Five of them watch NBC and ABC. So NBC and CBC or NBC and ABC right here. But because we already know that four of them watched all of them, we know just one of them lies on the outside intersection right here. Six watch CBS and ABC. CBS and ABC. So that means if there's already four here, that means two of them are the ones that belong in this part of the circle. Seven watch CBS and NBC. So that means that there's three because of the same logic. They say 10 watch the ABC. So if there's four, five, six, seven here, that means just three of them watched only ABC. 15 watched NBC. So four, seven, eight. If eight of them watched some of the other ones, that means only seven of them only watched NBC. And lastly, 34 watched CBS. So that means four, seven, eight, nine. If nine of them watched some combination, the ones that just watched CBS will be 34 minus nine, which is 25. And then we know that this whole thing has to add up to 100 because they said this is with the 100 viewers and the probability and the amount we're looking for is how many of the 100 TV viewers did not watch any of these so they're looking asking for the outside well that's quite easy right all we have to do is just do 100 minus 18 minus 3 minus 2 minus 4 minus 1 minus 3 minus 7 minus 25 so we can just take everything here out 1 minus all these out and we get 37, which is our answer B. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!